All right, it looks like our timer's a little off, but it's 10 o'clock, so we'll get going. Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's Coffee Break. My name is Brandon Pappas, and today I have Art with me from Friedrich, and he will discuss the DOE transition for the Vertifac line. Art, the floor is yours. Great. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks to everyone for joining this morning. It's a pleasure to be with you. So uh, there were some uh, changes in the way that DOE is looking at the uh, product category, single package vertical air conditioning units. So we're going to talk about that today. Some pretty uh, significant changes have been mandated. So I wanted you to be aware of all of that and also let you know how we as a manufacturer are approaching it. So just a little bit of history. So in the early 2000s, uh, Friedrich, we assisted the DOE and ARI, worked with them, as did a few other manufacturers, develop a single package vertical air conditioner certification program, meaning that all the manufacturers that made products in this category would have the same type of product and, and satisfy most of the basic needs that, uh, that the uh, DOE was looking for and would then uh, be eligible for ARI certification. So also just know that Friedrich offers uh, ver ver uh, vertical package units um, that include the current VHA model, and that's the one we're talking about. Uh, our other vertical unit is the VRP, which is the inverter-driven product with extreme high efficiencies. But we're going to talk about simply the standard VHA series today. Um, and going back uh, chronologically in 2015, the DOE started looking harder at this and other product classifications. Um, and in this past December, the DOE defined, redefined what the uh, SPVU product would be. They mandated that it needed to have 400 CFM of, out, of outdoor fresh air. And they set a deadline for December 2023, which is coming up. So think about that. A one ton unit, according to government regulations, would then ostensibly be a 100% makeup air unit, bringing in outdoor air. So that just wasn't feasible. We had those conversations with DOE, and then they decided to do some recategorization and reclassification. So this past May, DOE sent letters to us and other competitors, other manufacturers, requesting the recategorization of our product line uh, and others. So in January, our Vertipac product uh, category will move from AHRI standard 320, which is the single package vertical unit standard, to a new standard. Because while we checked all the boxes with our product that they were looking for, it was just now going to be in the wrong category. Um, ostensibly, you know, that 400 CFM and other other things that just weren't weren't um, reasonable to do. So we're still negotiating with DOE on future changes that they have. Uh, I think we're pretty good with the unitary product that we have, our VHA, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. Next. So introduce our new Q series. Uh, those of you who may be familiar with our Vertipac product, which was the P series, which we no longer are, are going to be shipping. Um, so we look our new rated performance to SEER 2 and HSPF2. It's the same categories and same capacities rather that our uh, P-series unit had. It is within the DOE minimums uh, for, for uh, we exceed them actually for, um, for airflow, for uh, efficiencies. And uh, it's a full heat pump portfolio, uh, meaning we, we offer the full package, either electric heat or heat pump. Uh, just not both at the same time. And this product will have 410A refrigerant. That will change with new DOE guidelines going forward. But right now, this new product will be introduced as 410A. The um, Something new here, we will run under heat pump to 17 degrees. Uh, the previous product will only go down to 38 degrees under heat pump. At that point in time, the VertiPak would shift over to 100% electric resistance heat. Now we've we have uh, increased that capability to going down to 17 degrees, which meets a lot of standards for around the country, and we will run at 60 percent capacity at 17 degrees, which is still acceptable for as far as cost savings and efficiencies. We have a new higher static blower, so we can do longer duck runs. We can go hit hook 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 up and condition the room next door or on the other side. 
uh, with that higher blower static. We have an active defrost cycle because going down to 17 degrees, we're going to make sure we need to cover that. And we're having a base pan heater in this product uh, standard simply because at 17 degrees or the lower temperatures, you're going to need something to do keep that base pan heater from freezing up with a condensate. Um, just the same footprint as the old product. One thing that is changing, the discharge, if you can see the drawing, it's a rectangular discharge. Our previous product, the P-Series, had a round discharge. So there's one, uh, one change that we're making. Um, the, uh, but otherwise, same footprint. There's a one-inch rough opening to finished floor and uh, lower breaker sizes. So it'll, it'll actually cost less for the electrical contractor to, uh, to uh, uh, power the unit. And diamond blue on both coils, which is our anti-corrosion coating on both coils, not just the condenser coil. Okay, next. So some features and benefits real quick. Uh, active defrost cycle, you know, sh uh, short defrost cycle with auxiliary electri electric heat. We're making up, because it's a shorter cycle, we're not using as much power. It's not taking as long, but we're using auxiliary electric heat to make that happen faster. Heat pump down to 17 degrees uh, before we switch over. Uh, and a lower breaker size. So there's uh, uh, benefits there. So uh, base pan heater, that's just to keep things from freezing up uh, down below. Uh, you can look at some of the preliminary specifications here. Our 12, our VHA 12, our most popular unit is SEER 2 rating of 11.9. You can see HSPF 2 6.3. And you have a variety of different uh, electrical uh, options as far as backup electric heat. Next. So because of obviously the increased efficiencies, the savings over our vertical, our, our previous vertical unit, we've got a couple of markets here. Denver happens to be one of them. Uh, in Chicago, uh, this typical savings over the previous model is $684. Denver 521. Uh, and you can see the other, the, the other couple of markets there as well. So just kind of a cross section of where we are gonna uh, be as far as electrical cost savings uh, for the end user. So a more efficient unit uh, with, uh, with the changes we're making. Next. So Q series, again, just to kind of sum up some of the things here, um, heat pump down to 17 degrees, active defrost. Um, the annual savings, it's gonna be much more efficient. It's gonna be uh, uh, less costly to operate, SEER 2. Uh, R410A, we're going to switch that over, obviously, with uh, government requirements, but for uh, the next year, we're going to be working with R410A. Higher indoor airflow, um, and obviously, we have uh, auxiliary resistance heat going as well. Base pan heater, that's huge. Well, we don't want these things freezing up uh, in cold climates and causing issues. So is that, uh, we have one more, I think. That's nope. it. Actually. That's it. Oh, the prizes. Yeah, that, that's the best part, right? That is part of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so happy to answer any questions that people may have, or you can send them uh, over to uh, Long and they can forward them to me. However, you guys want to play it. Just want to make sure everyone is uh, has the uh, the information on this unit. I will tell you that DOE was very forceful in in enforcing this on the industry as a whole, not just us. Um, we can no longer ship our VertiPak, our previous product, nor can any of the, our uh, companies that compete with us with similar products. They are threatening jail time to the, uh, to the executives that would knowingly ship this product after this month. So November 30th is the cutoff. So they're being pretty heavy handed about it. I guess they're serious about making these changes. I can tell you we are fully compliant with, with uh, the DOE um, as an industry. Uh, not all manufacturers are ready yet, so you're probably going to have about a year before many of them can uh, can can redesign their units to meet some of these guidelines. So just be aware that that's kind of what the market's looking like. Perfect, awesome. Well, thanks, Art. And again, yeah. as, as he stated, the, he he did a quick overview today. But if you have any more questions, please reach out to your sales engineer, and we'll be able to get you more answers. Uh, thanks again, everyone, and we will see you next week.